This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Your silver quarters could be worth over $112 each. The price of silver has skyrocketed recently in conjunction with the number of financial markers that could signal the price of silver going for $1,000 an ounce or more. According to financial analyst Bill Holter, there is as much physical silver available on this planet as there is gold. But the silver supplies are being used at a much greater rate through the use of silver in various electronic applications, which could feasibly make silver more valuable than gold. In a recent interview with SilverBullion.com, Holter stated that silver could arguably go to $50,000 an ounce. $50 an ounce is a joke in silver. It's probably missing one, two, three zeros at the back end of it. I mean, who knows where this is gonna go? The intrinsic value of a dollar is zero. And what will happen at some point in time, people will not sell their gold or silver for dollars at any price. If you sell gold, if you sell silver, you're going back into the debt system, into the fiat system. And the whole purpose of, of owning gold and silver is to have your capital out of the liability debt fiat system. Here in the US, if you're gonna buy silver, right now the, the absolute best way to purchase silver, in my opinion, is junk silver. That's 1964 and earlier dimes and quarters. For instance, roughly 14 dimes contain one ounce of silver. So if we do totally break down and we go through a barter society for a couple weeks, a couple months, who knows how long, silver dimes are gonna be far more useful than one ounce, one ounce coins. We believe silver will be gold on steroids. Silver is gonna outperform gold because the ratio at 85 to one is far out of whack with what it comes out of the ground at, at roughly 10 to one. And in the US constitution, the silver was pegged at 15 to one versus gold. There's not a whole lot of, of above ground supply of silver because when they dig silver up, something like 85% of it gets used industrially, medically, it gets used and it's basically gone forever. As the global economy teeters on the brink of chaos, a perfect storm is brewing in the world of finance. The U.S. petrodollar, once the cornerstone of international trade, is showing signs of collapse. And when it does, the price of silver could skyrocket to unprecedented heights, potentially reaching $1,000 an ounce or much more. We're also seeing a growing number of countries entering into the BRICS agreement. The BRICS agreement is a group of countries that work together to help each other's economies grow. It started with five countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Later, four more countries joined, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, and the United Arab Emirates. The goal is to help each other by trading goods and services, investing in each other's countries, and making it easier for businesses to operate across borders. BRICS also wants to reduce the power of the U.S. dollar in international trade. Traders here working the phone say a lot of their customers are freaked out, waiting to see how low the Dow will go. They're focused on the Dow, not so focused on OPEC. We've had an eight-day losing streak in the Dow that in percentage terms puts it on par, close to the loss suffered in that crash in 1987, close to that percentage loss those two days in 1929. Oh, no! In a world where fashion was stuck in the past, came the N5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts, revolutionizing the way we think about fashion. Gone are the days of boring, bland fashion. Introducing the N5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts, where every shirt is a work of higher dimensional art. Say goodbye to the same old, same old, and hello to the most epic, most legendary, most quantum tie-dye t-shirts in the universe.
In 5D Quantum Tie-Dye T-Shirts, where fashion meets quantum coolness. Think of bricks like a strong foundation where each country brings its unique skills and resources to build a stronger and more stable global economy. While some people are erroneously reporting that BRICS is backed by gold, this is not true. Although earlier in April of 2024, Zimbabwe became the first country this year to go to a gold-backed currency. The petrodollar, a system where the US dollar is used as the primary currency for international oil transactions, has been the backbone of global trade for decades. However, with the rise of alternative energy sources and the increasing influence of other global powers, the petrodollar's grip on the global economy is weakening. As the petrodollar's influence wanes, the value of the US dollar will plummet. This devaluation will lead to a surge in inflation or hyperinflation, causing the prices of goods and services to skyrocket, which we're already seeing here in the United States. But there's one commodity that stands out as a reliable option, silver. Silver, often seen as a proxy for the US dollar, has historically moved in tandem with the greenback. As the dollar weakens, silver prices tend to rise. With the petrodollar's collapse, the demand for silver as a store of value and hedge against inflation will skyrocket. As the global economy struggles to adapt to a new financial reality, investors will flock to silver as a safe haven asset. The resulting surge in demand will drive up prices, potentially pushing silver to unprecedented levels. Let's say hypothetically and inevitably, the US dollar crashes. That means your fiat paper currency will be virtually worthless. How will you survive? The answer, junk silver. What is junk silver? Junk silver refers to the pre-1965 US coins made of 90% silver, such as quarters, dimes, and half dollars, which are sought after by collectors and investors for their silver content. These coins are often sold in bulk on eBay and are a popular way to accumulate silver at a lower cost per ounce compared to buying silver bullion in coins or bars. When the US dollar collapses, you can use junk silver to purchase commodities, such as eggs or bread and a bartering type of agreement. What you're looking at right now is a chart that gives you an idea of how much your silver coins will be worth at various dollar amounts. When the US dollar collapses, silver could well be over $100 an ounce. But for the sake of illustration, we'll use the $100 marker as an example. If you had a silver dime and silver was going for $100 an ounce, its melt value would be $4.34 per dime. If you know a farmer, you could barter several dozen eggs and perhaps some milk or a loaf of bread for a silver dime. So how quickly could silver prices reach $1,000 an ounce? The answer lies in the speed at which the petrodollar collapses and the global economy adjusts to the new financial reality. Assuming a moderate pace of collapse, with petrodollar's influence waning over the course of several years, silver prices could reach $1,000 an ounce within the next decade. However, if the collapse is more rapid, which many of us anticipate, with the petrodollar demise occurring within the next few years, the price of silver could reach $1,000 an ounce much sooner. The only thing that can temporarily save the US dollar is another war which nobody except the fraudulous bankers are in favor of. The writing is on the wall. The petrodollar days are numbered. As the global economy adjusts to a new financial reality, silver will emerge as a safe haven asset of choice. With the price of silver potentially reaching $1,000 an ounce or much more, investors would do well to diversify their portfolios and allocate a portion, a big portion, of this precious metal. 
And lastly, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. These are just my opinions. And until the next time, I'm Greg from N5D.com sending you all love and light from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.